Why everyone is looking at what Mama Max is currently doing, I thought I would take a look at his past because I think the warning signs of what Max has become has always been there. With me watching big YouTube channels, being able to like, like I, I watch a channel some channels that like to put sex games in their videos and they can get away with that as long as they censor it right i see yes. other channels getting away with cartoons where they censor all the boob all the boobs in the uh and the sex the sex going on so i was like okay okay that's cool all right i guess if they can get away with it i can so i looked at the guidelines i read oh okay if its primary purpose is artistic is it isn't gratuitously graphic I, I assumed comedic meant artistic so i was like okay so it's all right to uh it's all right to put uh like hentai in the videos as long as it's censored so i decided to put hentai in my videos because i honestly think while i watch hentai i just think it's like the funniest shit ever you know <laughs> yeah. like yeah <laughs> so it's clear here at the beginning max doesn't actually really think about the ramifications about the ethics or morals of any of this stuff. He just wanted to make sure his content stayed within the guidelines. Like it's hilarious every time I'm yeah. watching. For, for me, it's kind of like some of the appeal to your channel that was you don't, you don't see that on YouTube at all. So I, right. I really like that about your channel because it was it was unique. Yeah, like I, I liked putting it because it, it kind of matched my um my format where I just put a bunch of gratuitous, like really graphic, violent stuff yeah. with like with all of it censored of course and yeah it matched like my kind of humor which is like really dark and stuff so okay so, so was your channel did it get to three strikes or was it like two strikes and you're no. just like screw it <laughs> yeah yeah it, it got to uh, after my first strike i was like this is this is some bullshit i'm gonna talk about this i'm gonna yeah. ask if people want me to keep doing hentai or not and people want me to keep doing hentai because i mean i was still seeing people uploading videos like large youtubers still getting away with it so i'm like okay it must have just been a hiccup or something so i was like okay i'll i'll just keep doing it and then um Yes, they just keep getting away with it until someone stops them. Total bullshit that you had to make that new channel in the first place. But if, if you have to, it's cool that you're not really like, I mean, you're losing the original videos maybe and you're losing some of the viewership, but you're not losing the people. I know. I love them so much. Like they are so good to me. I really appreciate them. Don't you stream a lot too? You stream a lot too, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. So they all, like a lot of those people come from your stream. <clears throat> is that is that where the uh, mom Max Senses love come from? <laughs> yes, that is where that comes from. All right. Yeah. Because you see that all over the internet. I mean, it took me a while to figure out where <laughs> it was coming from because I, I, yeah. I would go to like all these comment sections. I would see that shit and I'm like, what? Who? Who's Mama Max? And why is he sending his <laughs> love? And I'm like, what is going on here? You're, you're one of the very few people who, can like do the kind of stream raid thing that doesn't drive me up a fucking wall because oh, thank for a you. lot of people it feels very like self promoting and even though like your name is in it well your name now before because your name was youtube hell originally for right. those that aren't familiar but like it's in it now but yours yours actually feels because i've been in one of your streams when you did that because you did a you raided me once um, right and i've been in one of your streams and it feels like you just in general you seem like one of the most genuine people i've ever met oh thank and, you like i can tell that you're doing it out of a place of like genuinely wanting to be nice. Yeah, I want to help y'all out. out, you know? Yeah, and that's fucking cool. Like a lot of people do it for self-promotion and I could just, I could tell that you didn't. Yeah, I mean, you do it in a, in a positive way. Like you help people out. You're not going to self-promote yourself. Seems Mama Max is really good at sort of conveying his sort of genuineness to a lot of these people for some sort of reason. This comes off as extremely phony and fake to me. All of this sounds almost like love bombing. It's like overwhelming positivity that is meant to really take people's guard down. It definitely seems it has an effect on these three to a significant degree. Now there's many associations with it, abusive relationship, tactics, grooming, even cults uh, implement the sort of love bombing technique. And I feel like your content's very like interesting. I mean, it's funny. Like, it's really funny. It's funny as shit. But I'm saying it's not just funny. It's, like, really interesting, too. Ah, uh, thank because, you. Thank because you Because the style of it is so unique compared to what a yeah. normal YouTuber would do. I, yes, I would, it, uh, I, I would say that you are kind of like the Tim Burton of YouTube. Oh, yeah. oh thank you. Because, thank you. I mean, your your um your Keemstar Hell video that you put up, dude. Yeah. It, it's, like, it's so short, but it's, like, <laughs> so it's so perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so it's much. Like, Y'all are just showering me in, like in bite, compliments. It's, bite-sized perfection. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Like, the way that Mama Max is responding to all the comments compliments this is helping to reinforce my belief that this is some form or variation off of 
love bombing technique, no matter if it's conscious or unconscious that he's sort of putting out there. Oh, what's your favorite hentai? Oh, God, I've been asked this so many times. <laughs> I got that question, too. I got that question a couple times. I, In terms of favorite questions, I don't really have favorite anythings because That's everything good, is, yeah. is a different love for me. Like, I have a different love for each person that I meet. And it's I wouldn't say it's better or worse, but if you want, like, uh, an answer, I, I, I one of my favorites is Onichichi. Okay, everybody, everybody, go check that out. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll include a link to that in the description. No, no, please, please don't, um, please don't do that. I don't want anyone watching that. It's, I, it's guarantee, pretty horrible. I guarantee every single person watching this is going to go check it out, even even if they're not interested. Oh, they just God. want to know explicitly because you said, please don't let anyone watch that. People are going <laughs> to definitely go watch. I'm it. looking it up right now. Oh, oh my! In that in that case, please don't look at get it and then be like, oh, Max is such a horrible person. Okay, because oh, no, it's no, there is some no, really horrible no stuff in that. In that. Oh, okay, no, thank no. you. I mean, Zapti, do you have any any questions? No, 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 I thought you were going to say, do I have a favorite hentai? <laughs> do, you, do you have a favorite hentai? Is, I think, I think uh, the generic answer is Boku no Pico, right? That's the, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, that's the meme hentai. <laughs> the meme that's hentai. all I know. I don't know shit about hentai. Yeah, me I, I, I don't me know. is good if that's hentai. Oh, there you go. Me, me, me. That's a, that's a good ass video. <laughs> oh, it, it really is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen that? Nope. Yes. Yeah, nope. Wait, yeah. Elvis has okay. it? I haven't. Well, maybe I have. I just don't you, know. It's a, it's a very, I, we're going to talk about this for a minute. I, I'm sure half the people here have no idea what it is, but there's this video called Me, 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 which is this incredibly, like, just hyper really artistic. animated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Incredibly animated, um, like, little, like, short film, three-part music video. Yes. Basically about a dude whose, like, relationship just completely fell apart. The thing that's frustrating about it is it's got the excess stuff in it. Like, it's got a bunch of boobs and vagina and ass and, like, excessive guns and the gore and all that shit. It's, like, this, the things you generically, I guess, stereotype with anime. But, like, it's doing that as a critique of itself, almost. Yes, I'm yes. talking about this super in-depth, but I people discard it really quickly because of anime boobs, blood. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> and, and it's frustrating because I, that's this can almost be a, a decent segue into just talking about this in general, how people, especially with sex, but with violence to a slightly lesser extent, those two qualities immediately, for some people, degrade the artistic value. Yes. Yeah, that, that like, is true. And it's, I don't get it. Like, if if the if it's being used in a way that's meant to prove a point, which it, me, 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 I think it does, I, I don't see how there's any way that that could take away from it. Well, actually, I uh, uh, for, for, I thought the video was about someone being obsessed with the internet so much that, like, or, or, or obsessed with, like, you know, just, like, ob obsession with, like, porn or something like that. Like, someone obsessed with it and so obsessed with the internet that it completely destroyed his actual life. That's what I, I thought. I think it can about. be taken that way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought it was about. But, I mean, honestly, yeah. <clears throat> it has a really big relationship to like max's content is because yeah I, I agree so mama max agreed that something like me 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 hypersexual relating to obsession in some way with a tinge of violence at least underpinning it relates well to his particular content either youtube hell or his life sucks series i think that's a important takeaway here and, I'm like, and I'm like, it's cool that people like us, but like, it's still surreal to me that just by going in that stream, we were able to to improve his day. And that's that's so fucking cool. Like, that's that's the kind of thing where you can use like YouTube growth and that kind of thing for. I don't want to say use it for good because that sounds yeah. super gay, but <laughs> so you know what I mean. We like, get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. right. But like, it, use it for a positive influence. That's maybe a better way to put it. Yeah. Because a lot of people, there's a lot of like hatred and shit on YouTube. Obviously, oh, yeah. there's the whole like people get slammed in comments if you have like a picture of a fucking like MLP character. Yeah. And get ready to get told to kill yourself. <laughs> times because people are just awful like that um but like the fact that something like that can have that effect on someone is just so fucking cool yeah i agree i agree 100 percent. now i don't want to sort of make the connection between mama max and zap tie necessarily but there does seem to be a certain amount of overlap there except for zap tie went with the meme in tie and going into the artistic value of me 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 but it's clear zap tie isn't really into hentai. Why, my mom, Max? He knows it's not for everyone, and his taste probably shouldn't be enjoyed by other people, especially younger people, would be my guess. I'll, I'll just talk to Max this time. Just, do you really think that Keemstar deserves to get taken down? Um, or no? Based on what he has done uh, through his past and um, current state on YouTube, I feel like he's done more than enough to prove that he is not deserving to be on YouTube, even though he's, like, entertaining and it's, like, funny to see him, like, do all this stuff. It's still it's still really yeah. sad how he, like, like he made, like, Bash Reverse feel like killing himself and, like, he sent a bunch of hate to Toby for a rumor. I feel like he's not doing really good things here. Then again, he is entertaining to watch in. Hmm, up to minds. I guess Mama Max doesn't want to completely hack that bridge, but he will morally condemn Keemstar for his actions. Given the current state of things, I find that rather ironic. 
get Keemstar in here. I want to talk. I've never talked to what? Keemstar before. Yo, you got rid of lyrics? It's a public uh, yes. video. Oh, I was going to light him up. Can we get lyrics? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're so funny, Keem. I'm, I'm, I realize, okay, I, the people listening now are going to be like, are you guys really talking about the Toby Turner rape allegation? Yes, I know. <laughs> this is really fucking this is old, old news. news this damn is it. really old news. Sorry, but I just feel the need to talk about this briefly. Um, I am personally of the opinion that most of the claims seem to be the whole um, he pressured me and I agreed to but regretted it later type deal. I don't want to say that for sure, but some of them seemed that way. Mm, okay. um, but the main one, the, the, the really long Tumblr post, um, I think that one's legitimate. A lot of people think that it's not. I actually do. Yeah. And yeah. really. Yes. And the biggest reason that people seem in my that I saw that people were arguing against that, and this I guess can kind of move away from Toby. This is just in general. Um, because she posted it on Tumblr, and everyone immediately goes like, "Oh, she's on Tumblr. That's that means it's not legit." <laughs> no, the thing we're getting like super fucking serious. I'm sorry, but we're so rape okay, allegations. Keep going. All in of itself, rape allegations are a fucking mess. You can literally go to the police ten minutes after getting raped, and it can still be difficult to get a conviction. Oh, dear. This was three years ago. So, oh. the, when everyone's saying, like, oh, if this was legit, she would have gone to police, there's no fucking point going to the police. There's literally none. Like, because it's the hardest crime to prove. Yeah. So, so when <clears throat> everyone was saying, oh, she's full of shit because she didn't go to the... No. No. And it, her, her going on Tumblr and posting about it, yeah, maybe not the wisest decision, maybe a little hasty and, possibly, and certainly harmful to to toby i guess but if he did it like what else are you gonna do i've had experience with this kind of thing before and it's really fucking hard for people to talk about it yeah. and it can take a really yeah. really long time for people to be okay with talking about it and when they are for their immediate reaction received to be you didn't go to the cops so you're a lying bitch whore you just want attention like that's fucked and i'm agree, not saying that, that she's definitely right because she might not be maybe maybe she maybe their allegations aren't true i'm not going to say that i know that for a fact it's just my opinion but it's really backwards to me that the immediate response, because Toby, frankly, because Toby's the bigger person uh, in terms of subscribers and fame, I, I think if the roles were reversed, people would have been a lot more questioned. That, that is true. Yeah, that, that's so yeah. true. But because it's Toby, everyone has to jump to defend him immediately. Yeah. And that bugged me. What I found weird is that there were so many women that were coming up about it, like, you know, coming forward with their own stories. That, that's, yeah. that's what really yeah. made me question things. See, it's, it's, but the problem is, it's, is it, it is a slight mix of people who want attention and people, I mean, I can't even say legitimately actually had experiences, but I mean, it, it's always a mix. Like you don't know if it's true. That's the problem with that kind of thing. It's just like, you don't know yeah. if it's true. Like when people say that stuff, people always assume, oh, you're just trying to get attention mm -hmm. from someone. This is why it's important to establish guilt or innocence. I feel bad for women who legitimately can't process their sort of rape afterwards. So they don't go to the police. They don't, document anything they don't think logically about how to sort of prove that their trauma was real to people but still all these guys sort of muddy in the waters that it's really hard and difficult to do but clout chasing and shit like that is really a standard that is trying to be weeded out of these accusations nowadays so it's not just the person with the most clout or subscribers who really come out on top. It's really what can be proven to be true. And this is definitely a bad lesson for Mama Max to learn here. This probably has been echoing in his brain or similar type discussions with similar type content creators and not really get in with the times. And we want evidence of these claims nowadays. It's all about who's the biggest people you can pull, like most critical to sort of back up what you're trying to push out there on YouTube and social media in general. Do you do you have any videos planned, Max? Oh, me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I actually have a bunch stockpiled from when I was like uh, banned from YouTube for two weeks because <laughs> of that second strike. Yeah. So yeah, I have a bunch of videos stockpiled, a bunch of the Life Sucks videos because I, I really enjoyed making those. Oh, those are those. good. Those are Thank really you. good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, the Life Sucks series always struck me as really odd, especially if you go through some of those comments. Like, this is so important to me. You're expressing so much how I feel. It's all about mental health, mental distress, which Mama Max, as it's clear, he's even willing to admit his personal problems and how depressed he was throughout high school. A complaint that can resonate with everyone. He can find them, especially the depressed, unloved, 
uncared for, at least the people who feel that way, mainly younger audience members, and sort of pairing this sort of YouTube hell with a lot of violence and sexual content of the hentai anime variety, along with this very teen angst-based sort of content, I think is a perfect storm that really is showing in his current content, taking the edge to the stream, and then being perfectly fine with throwing the pedophile insults at those who criticize him. It's a double standard that doesn't really show here, but you can see the sort of duality of Mama Max in this moment. At least that's my belief. I, I guess, what, what's your main motivation for YouTube? Because, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we got asked that last Yeah, time. yeah, I remember y'all answering this last week. Uh, I'd, I'd have to say it's definitely, most definitely, the, uh, like, the, the, the viewers, the, the people who actually watch the videos and the ones who are liking and commenting. And, like, they're, like before, before the YouTube channel, I had one friend in real life after high school. And I was like, where'd everyone go? I only had one friend, and we didn't even hang out that much. After YouTube, I feel like I have, like, so, so many friends that are, like, so good to me, and it's, it, I really love them so much. That's the same so, thing. Yeah, I that's, completely that's understand yeah. that. We're on the, yeah. we're all in the same boat with you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, much. I mean, we're, we're basically all each other's friends now because, I mean, I, I, I got married and I moved out of my town. So like all my friends, I just completely lost contact with. So I basically have like that's an extremely parasocial sort of view to put out there. And he definitely does reflect that with his Life Sucks series, his viewers. And it's something that's and it seems to be something that rings true throughout all of his content going forward, even to the modern day. Until, of course, the audience turns on you and then you throw a tantrum. Love bombing is heavily associated with the narcissistic personality disorder. So it would make sense how things like this could be affected here and there. I forgot to mention, I can do something that I don't really like talking Ooh. about. Oh, God. Oh, I'm ready for this. <laughs> I can suck my own dick. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Yes. No. Like Marilyn no, Manson? I really no. can. I, re I really no can do that. No. How? Yes. How? how? Maybe. That, that, Are you missing it, some ribs? Yeah. Just, I mean, no, but I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's just long enough for me to do it. Or... <laughs> just Max is a lucky guy. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, Mama. I, I can't, I can't do that shit. No, makes total sense that Max can suck himself off. Did, did, did you practice to get there or was it a fluke? Yeah, I just discovered it one day I was taking a bath and I was just like, oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that is. I always think it's funny when people are like, oh, sucking your own dick is gay. I'm like, so what is masturbating? Like you're right? giving yourself yeah. a hand job. Is that not equally? It just feels better. But I guess That's the thing all. is arguably that it, like, it feels more like having a dick in your mouth than it feels like having your dick sucked. Is that true? Or does it feel more like having your dick sucked? I need to know now. I'm sorry. I'm never going to have well, this we opportunity know again. If he's man. actually done it or not. That's the thing. Well, yeah, I didn't like do it to, uh, okay. to climax. I just. I, I just put put my rim around. Like that, that would be really hard. That would be really hard to do to climax. I, I feel like that would be really uncomfortable. Honestly, I think yeah, so too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Hey, look, yeah. a question. How big is your shit? <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I tell my fans this all the time because they always ask me. And <laughs> I, I can honestly you know, see that happening. Yeah. I, I told them you'll see at 10 million subs. Dick reveal. <laughs> that, that dick reveal. Yes, please. That would be amazing. <laughs> I mean, I'd have, I'd obviously have to post it on like Pornhub yeah, or something. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, that's <laughs> 10 that's ten million. million. Dick reveal. <laughs> That'd be epic. That would be beautiful. That's like that's definitely something I can see you doing though. Yeah. Like, just based on your <laughs> everyone channel. definitely go subscribe to Mama Max and help get him to ten million subscribers. Please, please. I, everybody. Right thank, now. thank you. Thank you. I mean, subscribe to him anyway. Doing. This is a really, really weird turn here, especially with the audience Mama Max has cultivated. And he talks to him about that a lot. Okay, I think I'm done with this particular section here. I must say, this gives me a new perspective on why Mama Max here called his series Life Sucks, which he sort of went on about that his new channel that he kept along until at least he did the hentai reviews or anime reviews or whatever that still can't be found today, except for that one that's on his upload clip channel. Let's see if he strikes all of those down like he's been striking down some other uploads that he's let out there. This is Vincent Martin, and I'm done.